I'm going to show you a really simple breathing technique and I'll explain the science behind it, why it's so effective in helping people who are suffering from pain. Watch the video and see how it can help you or how it can help your clients. Hi, my name is Drew Coverdale. I'm a physiotherapist and author of The Pain Habit. Welcome to The Pain Habit YouTube channel. If you're new here and want to learn a little bit more about pain or to change your experience with pain, then click on the subscribe button to stay up to date with any new videos. If you have any comments or questions, pop them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So this is a technique that anybody can do, whether you're in pain, whether you're not in pain, whether you're a patient, whether you're a therapist, you can use it yourself, you can use it when you're in pain, you can teach other people to do it, it's entirely safe and it's entirely natural. I just want to explain to you um, a breathing pattern that we have at different times in our life and different moments in our life. If you think of the breathing rate you have now, it's about 12 or 15 times a minute, it's, that's totally okay. Um, it's when you're maybe problem solving or thinking about things. Uh, if you may, you may be a little bit lower if you're relaxing, um, maybe a little bit higher and some people a little bit faster, habitually a bit faster than 15, sometimes up to 20 times a minute, but it's not something you're conscious of in that moment. Now, if you were in, doing sport, a real high intensity sport, or if you were frightened or really concentrating on something you're fearful of, the breathing rate would be much faster. So you're aware of that. It's that, it's that really fast paced breath that we need during high intensity sport. And it's something we'll have felt if you're being chased or playing as a child, either excited or even really fearful. Pain doesn't really live in that fast rate it doesn't doesn't live there pains normally experienced in that lower rate that mid range that 12 to 15 times when you might be able to concentrate or uh, you may be aware of your pain it might affect your concentration when it's more there that we experience pain we could suffer an injury in that moment emotionally or physically that makes us so uh, breathe so fast but actually the pains felt when we're breathing at a, a slow rate where we're kind of aware of what's happened to us. Now, lower than that um, is six times a minute. Now, this is like a parasympathetic breathing state, if you like. The other is a sympathetic, so fight or flight. And what I'm going to show you is a parasympathetic breathing rate, so it's six times a minute. There's loads of research on this. This is from uh, the Heart Math Institute, the one I'm going to show you. There's lots of research. There's a book by uh, James Nestor called Breathe that talks about lots of different breathing mechanisms. There's, there's slight variations on this, but for, um, for this video's uh, purpose, it's six times a minute. It's the rest and digest rate. So anybody can access this, no matter whether you're in pain and you're struggling to move, or you're not in pain and trying to build up or want to build up some resilience for times when you may have some discomfort. So, so simple. That really fast rate is almost the system going, right, lads, lasses, let's go. That slower pace, six times a minute, is almost like a klaxon on site saying 50 trillion cells rest and digest. So the clever part about this is the point of your focus. If you think about when uh, the fight or flight are very busy, it's your mind's all over the place. Okay, dash, 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 thinking about this, reflex thinking, get out of the situation, and um, so your body follows. But the other end, once your focus is on what you feel, and I'm gonna give you a couple of points to focus on, that system starts to follow. So you're using your body to train your mind, rather than your mind leading your body. So we're flipping it a little bit, this is such a lovely technique. So I'll just explain it now. So you find a comfortable position and if you're in pain, you find the most comfortable position you can get if you're in pain. And you're only committing two minutes to this. That's all, two minutes. If you want to do it longer, you can, but the commitment from you or from your patient is two minutes. That's all. No movement, no exercise, no anything. Choose a position and commit to it for two minutes. And we always keep it tiny, remember, because there'll be an excuse that I can't do it, it won't work, it's not for me. 
these are just thoughts these are thoughts that trigger the body to go back to the activities that are quite often keeping people in pain so the commitment is are you prepared to do it for two minutes find a comfortable position I like to get the patient to uh, lay down with the knees bent up it's quite a relaxed position but find something that's comfortable the points of focus the hands are going to be placed on the tummy and place the focus place the patient's focus on the hands as they rise and fall as they take a deep breath in another point of focus might be the air passing through the nose because you can ask the patient to breathe through the nose or you're going to breathe through your nose on the way in on the way out now it isn't critical that you do that it's just the most effective when you do it like that and if you can't breathe through your nose for whatever reason or your client can't just get them to breathe the pace that you breathe is one two three four five so you start the breath in through the nose count to five and then it's out through the nose count to five whilst they take a deep breath in they'll feel the hands lift as the tummy rises that's the diaphragm creating that movement and then as they relax the hands will drop so the point of focus is the hands lifting up or down or the air going in and out of the nose or you can focus on the chest rising as that joins in it'll be the tummy first then the chest will rise it's the point of focus of what the patient or the person or yourself is feeling not what you're thinking if you find the mind is so busy that am i doing it right and i haven't got time for this and the lots of thoughts that do pop in when you um, start to do this or can pop in you can minimize that by creating the best time of your day to do this so you're practicing it almost like you would set up something with children it'd be bath bottle bed you have a bath then you give them the bottle then they're in bed it doesn't always work but um, so you're setting the same framework for yourself so you're winding down to a point in the day that you can at least find a little bit of time for yourself and this is also about boundary setting setting some time for you getting your patient to set some time aside for themselves only two minutes so they find a comfortable position they found the time of the day to do it it may be quite a time for them to think about those busy thoughts but if you have or they have a busy thought or a thought pops up look at that thought and tell yourself it's just a thought i'm focusing on my tummy I'm focusing on my breathing focusing on my nose and the air passing in and out of it gently take control of that part of your mind by by making yourself focus back on your hand calmly with assertiveness that you're only committing two minutes to it you can be with those thoughts again later on but for this two minutes you're in control so as you start to take a deep breath count one two three four five just in your mind's eye and as you release through your nose it's one two three four five as you're doing this process and i'll create another video where i'll maybe take people through it as you're doing this process yourself you simply focus on the counting in your head the air passing out of your nose or the hands rising and falling gently on your tummy and as you do this you may find it's a little slow because you might have been breathing at a faster rate all day long and you may not be used to this it can feel a little strange initially but it's entirely safe totally safe and each cycle see if you can match that count to five all the way in and all the way out now what's happening physiologically is uh, there's a there's a real change in the neurochemicals flushing through the system as you do this a change in them that's very different to maybe to the ones that have been running through the system and the skill in this is just getting used to that first of all don't think you have to do anything else at all just get good at breathing for two minutes where you are controlling it and if two minutes is too long do one minute it is an amazing technique entirely safe you can access it any time of the day once you get good at this and it's so effective in helping people control their pain and reverse the mechanisms that are driving it have a go give me your feedback in the comments below ask me some questions about it and there's lots of other things you can do with this technique once you've got it boxed off some people have 
experience and say it's like meditation well i suppose it is but it's only two minutes it takes two minutes so you don't have to set aside a lot of time for this you simply have to set aside time for yourself so i hope you enjoyed this video today now definitely go and set aside a little bit more time for yourself take the next step in your recovery and breathe if you've enjoyed this video then like it or share it if there's any other videos specifically you want to cover on pain, then I'll happily do my best to create one for you if it's something I think I can help with.